sleepy. Just woke up, just waking up hella late. Well, I've been up about an hour now. A beer was compressed and <laughs> was to my face. <laughs> Stuck to my, I slept way too long. That water, you know what it was? I left my patio cracked. I left my patio cracked and I put on that green noise music. And I went to sleep by 4.30 this morning and I woke up at 12 and missed the workout, missed the motherfucking uh, everything. So, god damn, I'm still I'm lost in translation. I went to sleep about 9 last night and woke up at 2.30 in the morning. So then, um, motherfucking, so people telling me about some movie called Nowhere, yep. I'm wide the fuck awake. I watched the complete movie. And now that my cheap ass that made a movie, all I can think about is how much did they pay to make this motherfucking movie? They sit in a motherfucking, crank, uh, what you call them shits? Uh, the things be on the back of the diesels and shit. People be making high. In the water. I yeah, seen this yeah. shit. I seen this this shit. is the scene. only fucking scene the whole movie, bro. They they had to spend a 50000 on this movie, kid, if that. And these motherfuckers is getting paid. I know it. Like, that's what I think about when I watch movies now. God damn. Like, all she had to do was sit in this motherfucking crate container. And then, like, container home. Like, all she had to do was sit in the container and do the whole fucking movie, I bro. I saw the trailer. And I said, I saw this real footage of them hoes falling off ships in the middle of the ocean. And I was like, it's crazy because people, Im immigrants... It be they be fifteen deep in them holes, and you be that's the one that fall into the ocean, nigga. You fuck. That's Damn, hella crazy. That's real. But that shit was hella cheap to make. They had to just sit in the crate, two mu the the woman, and then she had a baby. I say, God damn, that's smart as fuck. They on Netflix right now, running it up out for a twenty thousand dollar movie. That's dope as fuck. It was a good ass movie though. That's crazy. She defeated gravity like that. <laughs> For real? That's work, kid. That's work. She put in that work. She look good, she though. Now you see the like What up with it, though, man? That was the craziest shit, though. That was a good ass movie. That was a good ass movie. So I watched that whole fucking movie. And it's now it's like I said, I woke up at 2 30. Now it's 4 30. I'm still wide the fuck awake. I go to McDonald's. And went and got me a motherfucking breakfast sandwich and came back, smoked, went to sleep. Well, I had talking to himself. I had right, talking to himself, but he ain't take his medicine. All he had to do is take his medicine. Take your medicine, man. If you, if you need to take your medicine, if your medicine have you out here talking to yourself. But yeah, I stayed up till 4.30. Went back to sleep thinking I'm gonna make it to the gym at 9. Woke up at 12. Beard compressed to the side of my face. Looking crazy than a motherfucker. Nah, if you out here talking to yourself, having full conversations with yourself, take your medicine, kid. We can't do this. Like, I was just... Let me see something. I was just riding through downtown, man. <coughs> I hate to see homeless people homeless. Because I want to understand why the fuck is they homeless. <coughs> but then more than that, it's an I hate that it's a lot of black homeless people. And I, I don't like that. I be like, God damn, man. I don't want to see my people out here doing the most. Okay. Walking in the middle of the street. Uh, you know, you see these scary ass white ladies walking with umbrellas this morning, and you got a motherfucker who just sleeping outside, just running all up on her, like just hella. It's like, god damn, man! Like, I don't want us to be looking like that, huh? A lot of people that's homeless got addictions. Nah, a lot of people that's homeless is For crazy. Time, that's what I'm saying. Nah, or, or yeah, it could be that too. Nah, it is. It is that. It's not addictions. It's more about. Uh, it's the addictions, but it's more about, I think, 
mental illness. I think it's people don't got it out. Like the more I see a lot of homeless people talking to themselves, like having full conversations. Like I live downtown, so I really get to do my research. A lot of people are not just down on their luck. A lot of people is not taking their medicine and then living in the streets and not following them rules. <clears throat> Cause that mental illness shit, when a motherfucker don't want to take their medicine and they doing all this crazy shit, it get hella draining to you, you know, trying to stop them. And then when they get a certain age, you can't make the decisions for them no more. They make their own decisions. So, you know, that shit can get hella, hella turn into a lot of uh, stress or whatever, trying to tell a motherfucker what to do. But yeah, shit crazy. I hate to see that shit. It's about a ten, bro. It's, I think it's yeah. It, it's mental it's illness. Not, it's a lot of mental illness going on that's undiagnosed, or if, if it is diagnosed, they not taking their medicine to be able to get their checks and get the proper care they need. <clears throat> and that's what it be. It's depressing today. It ain't depressing. We just did. It's raining inside. Listen, it ain't always gonna be happy time. But yeah. um it's a lot of people out there meds and manic having manic episodes. You, that's all you see. Pay attention. Like you'll t- it was like damn, and and a motherfucker be so basic to think that oh it's just because they ain't wanting to get a job or some shit. It's way this problem is way bigger than getting a motherfucking job. Just look at a motherfucker and watch what they doing. They gonna be there talking to themselves, having full conversations. You know, like, you could tell that this motherfucker don't got it out. Like, you like, oh, this motherfucker, something wrong with him. It ain't just, they ain't got no job. It's something mentally wrong. And then families, that shit, you can't expect motherfuckers to keep chasing grown people around who not listening. And then they fucking out they uh, money. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit get hella draining and stressful. You know what I'm saying? So, <clears throat> it need to be somewhere or something that, that, uh, push that medicine or uh, not uh, not even push medicine because some motherfuckers be medicine ain't the right thing medicine, whatever man motherfucker out here doing the most we got to figure something out you know what i'm saying like what the fuck is up like we got to figure something out because this shit is crazy when it's just so in downtown like it's right in the middle of everything you know what i'm saying That shit like crazy. Motherfuckers to be walking up on motherfuckers doing the most, walking in the middle of the street. Like, it's, it's way too crazy. We got to figure that shit out. Cause, you know what I'm saying? They need to do more programs or something out here for the people. Like, <clears throat> But it's just like, oh, if you ain't taking your medicine, you ain't getting no check, now you homeless. Because your family ain't finna be just having you off your meds running around that motherfucker putting the family life in danger not being you know calculated you know what i'm saying so it get real crazy they drop motherfuckers off downtown at at that greyhound i learned that they send motherfuckers from everywhere down there they send everybody to greyhound and then that's why it's so fucked up right there because they send motherfuckers to Greyhound with a ticket, like, knowing they ain't finna go to their actual homes, knowing they ain't gonna know where the fuck they gonna end up, just getting them away from them. And that's what the fuck be happening. Yeah, so I did my research on this shit. Y'all ain't have to worry about it, thugging news. We out here in the streets, man. But I don't know, they need to figure this shit out, though, because this shit getting too crazy, man. A lot of them don't have none. Nobody. Fire that bitch up. I was supposed to be at the foot doctor by 1.30, but she my friend. I I'm late. She your friend? She cool. She helped me out last time. She the only lady that got my feet right. What's on your feet? I think I got at least feet wearing these goddamn Crocs, bro. My motherfucking pinky toe. I mean, my big toe. That whole turning colors on me. I don't like it. I was going in the right direction. It's going in the wrong direction. I ain't going to be <laughs> not athletic with at least foot. A lot of programs where we don't have access to the resources. Yeah, it need to be something done. Ain't them headphones love? Some Apple headphones? Those ain't no beating up the block, but them hoes cool. They better than beats. I don't know. I ain't gonna say that. I'm starting to feel old school with my beats. Everybody got them hoes. Yeah, everybody got them now, but um. Sound, brother, do nah, beats. you can stay with beats. I ain't no real black on choice. I don't think Dre on that shit no more, so it don't matter. 
You know what I'm saying? Oh, I got the beast, the beast they got that bass in it. Y'all open halfway houses in um, Indiana? Yeah. Yeah, but uh, I understand how that shit go. That shit really stressful, man. Like, dealing with that shit. But uh, we need to try to figure out something on that. Maybe I can come up with something. I don't know. I'm so smart. You know what? I'll tell y'all what. Fuck it. I'm finna run for mayor. Do I got time? I see they already uh, going at it. <laughs> man, they gave my nigga Donnie Houston a day. Shout out to my nigga Donnie, Donnie Houston. Donnie Houston man. got a fucking day, nigga. My boy Donnie Houston my got a well deserved day. Got a goddamn. Yeah, man. He from the clock. Yeah, man. My boy Donnie Houston. Donnie Houston, mad man. Let's talk about it, man. Let's talk about it. He went to high school with me. Too. Donnie Houston, uh, DJ for me at one point, made what's propane song. Nigga, him and Propane started in the garage. Him and Propane started in the garage. We together. started fucking with Donnie, Donnie and Pro at the stand at the same time because that yeah. was Pro producer. The greatest achievement of his life is gonna be this. He made peaceful for me. Oh my God, that's my favorite song, bro. To make that such a uh, that song is a forever song, man. Peaceful, and that was the beat that made that song. I would give Donnie. Houston, his plaque for that. He does a lot of historian work for the city. Like, he goes and talks to the motherfuckers of our, on that podcast. If you ain't never seen it, Donnie Houston podcast. He interviewed, I seen so many people, whole story play out, bro. Like, I seen them from the beginning to the end. The ones that worked, the ones that didn't work. The ones that worked the ones we for thought it, was gonna work. I seen the work. ones who didn't work, who tried to take the easy way, who was the shit at that time. And I seen them. Uh, you know, go for clout, and I seen the ones who actually put in the hard work, and I seen what they built with it. I seen the whole shit, bro. That's amazing. Everybody, I'm talking about. I have appreciation for even way back to Mike Jones. Mike Jones was under us at school, like he was just a nigga in high school trying to be a rapper. So for me to see him go to sell three million records, just imagine that, bro. Like this nigga give me free cell phones to try to. You know, you do a, a freestyle with us, get on the mixtape. And now this nigga sold three million records, bro. You can't ever be mad at us. You gotta be like, that's dope as fuck. Like, you know what I'm saying? I actually saw this nigga come up with the who? The dude put his phone in about the go to high schools while we go and do shows, getting paid for shows. He go and do them for free at high schools to promote his name. Like, you know what I'm saying? I see everything. It's crazy. I see everything, man. I got to see the whole shit from everybody. So I just sit back and see shit from a different perspective. Know what I'm saying? Yeah, but this, I think it's that weather that took me out. That uh, gloomy weather we got going right now. Man, even, even the athletes at the Sunday, they ain't got to go to practice Monday. Nigga. You, got, you got two days. <clears throat> you came yesterday. I came yesterday, but you don't know how the whole trip I'm looking forward to, man. I got to get back nah, in the gym. Got your body got to do it before somebody else tell you to do it. What Dr. J say, this is your engine, this is your oil light. But now nah, I'm still sleeping too much, though. Nigga, I slept from 8 to 2. I mean, from 10 to 2, and then from 4 to fucking 12. That was two whole nights sleeping one night. I was like, what Two whole fuck? nights sleeping. That's way too much for a hustler. <clears throat> We can't do that, kid. Ain't no taller than that, is Boy, down in Houston. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no. You know. Boy, I got his own day. It don't mean shit no more. They gave one to Cardi B, but we salute you. <laughs> <laughs> they been stop giving it that. They been giving them days to anybody, but we believe in you. We proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when they start giving them hoes to any rand, they start saying them hoes clout chasing. Now it ain't serious no more. But you serious, kid. You deserve your day, kid. I will. 
That's got the thug and news stamp on it. Your other day, day got the thug and news stamp on it, kid. But everybody ain't giving them days to we don't fuck with. <laughs> <laughs> they be trying to get in the concert. Hey, man, it's a packed concert, nigga. The concert sell out. They be, hey, get that nigga a day so we can get in the backstage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but salute. Y'all shit got the thug and news stamp. You for official Houston Day, kid. We gonna celebrate your shit for real. <laughs> All right, bro. All right, bro. Yeah, man. They got the thug and news stamp on his day, man. Everybody, they don't got the thug and news stamp. We like, man, we know them hoes gave you a day to get backstage because your shit was sold out. <laughs> Fuck that day. We ain't celebrating that shit. <laughs> God damn. Word of the day. Word of the day is don't oversleep, man. And if you do, make sure you still get the work done, kid. Do not give up. Do not stop. No, bitch, don't get too comfortable. That's the word of the day. Bitch, don't get too comfortable. <clears throat> is the word of the day. That's what I just came up with. And what that mean is, I always have ambition. The minute you stop chasing dreams, you start dying. You are not too old right now. You settling for shit, you going down. You ain't living your life if you ain't chasing your dreams or chasing your goals. The minute you stop chasing your dreams is the minute you start dying. That's when you start getting ready for the casket. Yep, go and run the insurance up because you finna die. Because you ain't doing shit to chase your life, to, to live. You just existing. So I always have an ambitious mind. I always complete something, celebrate it for a minute. I say even less, a couple seconds, and then it's on to the next goal. I always be chasing something. I always, whether it's your goal weight, whether it's your it's a, it's a it's some money, you know, uh, it's it's a doing some hobby shit you doing. You trying to complete this piece of art, whatever the fuck it is, man. It's all worth it. It's all motivation. You need all that shit. You need the gym first, though. You need the gym for the motivation. Y'all got some more. <laughs> Hell no, nah, that's the last one we just was complaining on here. Yeah. You're going to always need some more, though, kid. you always going to need some more. And then I'm going to tell you where it started. I tell motherfuckers, they just think I be bullshitting. It start at the gym, man. I tell motherfuckers all the time, you come here for the self-confidence that you need to apply in the other world. You know what I'm saying? I said, I'm a close on the smoke. Yeah, I'm going to the gym. You got to come to the gym. Once you put in that work and your blood start flowing and you ain't dying no more and your shit ain't just stuck in one spot in your body because you you've been sitting in one spot all day. Once your blood start flowing again, then your mind start working again. Your shit start coming alive again. You start thinking more. You start like, damn. You in there, you looking in the mirror, you see a muscle just came through. You're like, damn, I'm old with shit. I'm looking better than I was when I was in my 20s. What the fuck? Like, then you start thinking like you're young. You start coming up with ideas, shit you want to do. You start looking better over time. So now your self confidence is more up. You're like, damn, I can do this. If I can do this, I can do this. You know what I'm saying? All that shit start coming back on. All that shit start coming back on in the gym. And then you go to the park if you're that, a real hustler. And then once you hit that park, it's so much thinking time and three miles and 30 minutes of not talking on the phone, searching the ground, tick-tocking. It's so much time and thinking time in that period of running around that motherfucker. That's why I say, fuck that treadmill, go outside. You know, it's... Oh, you, you know, I know. You yeah. know, I know. But you know what I always wanted to do? get used to the treadmill because 
on a cold day or you know some I'll fall off that run. I want to get used to. Them. Oh yeah, I could do treadmill just. Some- off injury, you don't need to fuck with that anyway. Though that's just like it pull your muscles. You gotta just nah, use your own shit. I heard that's better. So. Nah, that ain't good. Pulling your muscles on that rubber band. Time, my that ain't shit. Good. You need to don't be do exercise. Do exercise. Don't do yeah. that. I'm like, nigga, nah, you, you, <laughs> you can still do your own pace. Like, you ain't got to push yourself to the max at the park. You can, if you feel something, start walking. But uh, I say the park over there because when I was hurt, my shit, my, AC, my ACL and shit, that shit make my shit hella sore. Like, okay. you say your shit sore the today? The treadmill. You I say your shit, shit sore? I was doing way too on my shit today. Not heavy, but. He had me doing everything that they was doing. Just man, I'm doing. trying to get on the bikes, man. I be so busy. I'm fresh back in the city. They got me throwing, throwing shit at me. Goddamn Cam, if you're in the gym, you better hit up Cam. I'm going to keep it real. Cam Talal, you, if, hey, street niggas, if you ain't screenshot his name, <laughs> I ain't going to lie. The dude be, I be seeing him, the dismissed cases. I be seeing him. Black man. I ain't going to lie, I keep real with everybody. Nigga did sell me fake iceberg in college, but he changed his life. He did sell me fake iceberg in college, but he changed his life. And the nigga been beating cases ever since, man. Shout out my boy Cam Tulaw if you in the jam. I don't know how he do it. That nigga swear to type in the bitch. Yeah, my boy be beating them cases, though. I ain't fool, I looked like that when I was... I think it's what a Titan, huh? That's how you was in here. Try to hold it. Down like that. You was looking just like that. Oh, yes, yeah, sir. <laughs> but yeah, my boy be beating them cases. All street niggas get at him. Goddamn Cam. OG Run C. <laughs> in the jam, Kyle Cam. I seen it, man. I ain't gonna lie. That's his slogan. That's his shit. He uh he for real with it. I will give him his card. I ain't seen nobody beat cases like my boy Cam. He got an immaculate record. <clears throat> All my street homeboys be like, yeah, we yeah, okay, good job. Nah, 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 but yeah, man. Oh, oh shit, no, you good? <laughs> 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 they got my set cabin on fire. What's up, bro? Oh man, it makes good with the pre workout. <laughs> it means good with the pre workout. Now you go yeah, pick up, it, man. pick up the whole gym. But yeah, that shit, yeah, that shit yeah. started in the gym, man. Right there, that's what I think. That's my personal advice to the coach. Starting the gym, man. Once you're in the gym, and that motherfucker uh, start kicking in, you start coming up with your ideas. You get your self confidence up. You start looking better, feeling better. You know what I'm saying? That translates to the next thing in life. Whatever you do, I rap. I'd be like, oh shit, I'm gonna come up with do an album like this. Fuck it, drop this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that boy OG say not from experience, that boy the truth. <laughs> yeah. Straight like that. But yeah, that make me come up with ideas to do whatever I wanna do. You know what I'm saying? And that translating to getting money eventually, you know what I'm saying? So that's my uh advice to everybody. Yeah, let me go, bro, before I miss my foot workout and I had to at least be for another mic kid. 128. Yeah, I looked up inside 127. I got two minutes. Right All right, kid. I'm going to hit that park after this. In the rain, whatever. Militant style. Militant style. All right, if I got to listen to Tupac, fuck it. We going out like that. Nigga, fuck up his phone in his headphones. Yeah, I listen to that motherfucking... Um, uh, I listen to that. Whenever it's a problem, I listen to that Machiavelli, and it's good. We gonna go to war. Bond first. Uh, Look at it. About to be handicapped again, trying to fuck with the treadmill. I'm late as fuck to my foot appointment. Man, I'm happy to be back. Missed the fucking workout. Uh-uh. Don't get wet. See, if that's your mentality, is you scared to get wet, to reach your goals, <coughs> That's how far you gonna land. Your house gonna be small. <laughs> God damn, that was a bar. That nigga say, if you scared to get wet, your house gonna be small. If that stop you from reaching your goals, getting wet, stop you from reaching your goals, you gonna have a little house, kid. I can tell you that right now. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta be tougher than that one, man. You can't stop that easy. And that's what I be trying to get niggas to understand, man. Listen, you got to understand, it ain't going to be, it ain't going to be the regular motherfuckers who just doing the least that's going to have some. It's going to be the motherfuckers who do the most. 
that's the people who gonna be riding and having fancy shit, man. Straight up like that. I don't know how else to explain it. If you out here trying to do the least to get over on motherfuckers, let me tell you how they go. Just like I seen how Mike Jones came up and how everybody came up. I seen everybody journey from day one, from you know, to uh, you know, to wherever they get. The motherfuckers who worked the hardest always had the most. I'm telling you what the fuck I've watched. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's what I've seen with my own two eyes. The motherfuckers who worked the hardest had the most, straight like that. All around the board, and anything we naming, the motherfuckers who worked the hardest had the most. I've been around this bitch forever, and it's the same recipe. And there's always some motherfuckers, and let me tell you how this shit go, too. It's always some motherfuckers who come up and get the easy way and figure out the easy way, but that's not lasting that long, kid. It ain't going to last that long. You know what I'm saying? They shine. They had a moment. They had a time. Oh, they did their thing. But how long were they doing their thing? You see what I'm saying? How long did that last? How long did that actually last? So you pick. If you want to do some slick uh, trick shit, maybe you can shine for a little bit. But how long are you really trying to shine? You know what I'm saying? The motherfuckers who really put in that hard work is the motherfuckers who having it. Straight like that, kid. <clears throat> and it sounds so motherfucking cliche. It sounds so cliche. It sounds like, oh, yeah, just work hard. Everybody say that shit, Slim. Fuck what you talking about. <laughs> it's the ingredient, kid. I don't know you personally to tell you exactly what you're doing in your life, but that's the number one ingredient. That's the number one ingredient. Do it right. You do it once, right? You do it once and you do it right. And that's how that shit go. And it's gonna take time. Quit trying to go too fast with shit you're doing. Slow the fuck down. And it's gonna take you some time. <clears throat> Where's Mike Jones? Mike Jones still get money to this motherfucking day. <clears throat> Mike Jones probably do a show every weekend. We still, still tipping going to keep us eating forever. Just know that. All right? That's a real classic, man. That motherfucker ain't going nowhere. Boy, I be getting paid. Trill burgers. You can't call it. <clears throat> but motherfuckers figure it out. The people who work hard, figure it out. I just told you, you say, what's my advice to somebody who at the bottom? Work out, nigga. Get yourself together. Look good, at least. If you ain't got no money yet, go to the gym. Get your muscles right. Get your, where well, you look good. You might run into a fat girl with a bankroll who just want to want you to be her, her personal nigga. <laughs> Take care of yourself, nigga. That's my advice to a nigga at the bottom. Do whatever you can do to keep yourself together, man. When you look like you worth something, when you look like you motherfucking taking care of yourself, you can land into an opportunity that you never thought would be there. You know what I'm saying? It might start there. You don't never know what your shit go, where it's going to start at. But at least take care of yourself. But if you just sitting on your ass, not doing shit, stank, now, it look like you ain't been taking care of yourself, motherfucker. Ain't, you ain't showing no motivation, man. You ain't showing nothing. If you broke, at least be in shape. You know what I'm saying? Start working on yourself. You ain't got to have money, but be like, damn, at least I'm taking care of myself for right now. You know what I'm saying? That's all I can do right now is hit these push-ups, you know, get myself together. Look like I'm ready to do something. Motivate myself to try to do something. You know what I'm saying? If you got a bankroll, you ain't got to be in the gym all the time. You can handle your own. But if you ain't got shit and you fucked up looking and you ain't trying to do nothing with your life, yo, you out of there, kid. You down there downtown. You damn near downtown. Straight like that. But if you look decent, 
you can find a woman who's working hard and you can help her and she'll be cool with putting you, helping you get on your feet and shit. You know, some people see the potential. That's my advice to a dude. A woman, I don't know. You gotta, I don't know. It's tough for a woman too. It's like harder for women. I mean, I don't know. They get more opportunity than us. I don't know. I can't say it's harder, but it's for y'all. As long as you got a, a little, between your legs, you can probably find you some money. Damn, I'm late. But yeah. That's my advice. Look like you trying to do something. Usually when you start doing something, something start happening. But just sitting in the highs, not doing shit, playing video games, not even trying to make shit happen. That ain't how shit happen. <laughs> that ain't how shit happen, kid. Just always trying to borrow money from motherfuckers. You owe them motherfuckers because you ain't did shit and ain't working. You too cool to work. A nigga work at McDonald's cooler than a nigga who ain't trying to do nothing with his life like Straight like that. A nigga trying. A nigga at McDonald's trying. Same thing with a motherfucker at the gym. I don't care how big you is. You at the gym, you trying. Shit, you can't say nothing about a motherfucker who trying. You know what I'm saying? That's one thing you got to know. You can't say nothing about a motherfucker who trying. And that's what that is. You can talk all that shit. Motherfuckers don't even be trying, but be, be having all the jokes about a nigga who ain't. And ain't did nothing with they life. That nigga at work, at work at McDonald's. That nigga trying, man. You know what I'm saying? As long as a motherfucker trying. That's all you can ask for. And not acting like they trying. Most motherfuckers be out here acting like they trying. Even me, like, I understand. Think about me, though. Think about me, all right? I work my ass off for everything I got. You think I give a fuck about a motherfucker who not trying? I got a bankroll. I be, I don't even want nothing. That's what's fucked up. I'm so cheap. I can't even think of nothing I even want to buy right now. And I made some money as soon as I got back home. I got, uh, I got paid as soon as I got home. I don't even want nothing. I be looking for shit like, damn, what do you want? I don't even want nothing, man. That's what's so crazy. I could buy a motherfucker something. I'm not buying nobody shit. That what the fuck am I buying motherfuckers for? I don't feel sorry for motherfuckers who don't work hard as me. I might have more than you, but I still work harder than you. So why the fuck am I feeling sorry for you? Why would I ever think you would want to be living a lifestyle like me? When you ain't even working harder than me, and I already got way more money than you. So what the fuck I feel sorry for a motherfucker who I'm still working harder than and I'm have way more money than. I can't ever do that. You can't never make me feel sorry for you, nigga, because I'm working harder than you now, and I have way more than you now. You still ain't trying to outwork me, nigga. So it's like, God bless you. Where you at, kid? God bless you wherever you at. And you can stay there and that's where you decided to be in life. And that's it, bro. Like, <clears throat> that's what people got to understand. And they'll try to, your family members will try to lay on you. Not my family members. They don't never do that to me. I ain't on, so don't let me, my family don't ask me for shit because we good. So I don't, I don't want people to get it fucked up. Like, oh, he talking about, nah, my family actually never asked me for shit because everybody hustles. Everybody got that around. So, yeah, but I'm just saying I know how that shit go. Your family members will be putting it on you. All kind of shit. It be crazy, man. Friend, ah, right, man, you up. Nah, nigga, what is you doing? You ain't trying nothing. You want to lay with your gal all day and then come to me and complain about you ain't did this or you ain't got this. Nigga, we don't give a damn about that shit. Go back and cuddle with her and go lay down and watch the new motherfucking, uh, 
movie nowhere. Suck ass nigga, if that's what you on, if you stay broke. But we ain't quit borrowing money. I ain't lying to you nothing, kid. Hell no. You could have been out here doing whatever you wanted to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, let people actions put them where they want to be in life. And, and if a motherfucker out here trying and doing some shit, yeah, okay. I see you out here trying, man. You at McDonald's. You just might have had a fucked up day. You know, you doing whatever. You Okay, we like that. Like, y'all mad at Jay-Z. Is this motherfucker trying to borrow this money, trying to do something, or he just a motherfucker just like, hey, bro, you got it. Give me 4800 that nigga out paid in full. I had, you know, that nigga, the uncle who mad. Now, nigga, we not just handing you nothing for sitting at the counter store, chilling, smoking, and drinking all day, nigga. While we out here working, we not putting our life on the line. Not doing this to give another grown ass man something. Hell no, nigga, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? We don't put our life in danger, do all this extra shit over work ourselves in life to hand another grown ass man with two feet who healthy some shit hell no nigga we don't we don't respect that <clears throat> so yeah get the weak shit away from us you know what i'm saying so that's how that's how that's the, i'm not the i'm not nice i don't think i don't think you want to call me nice i might not say i'm nice i'm tough love I fuck with niggas who hustle, but I don't fuck with no, no weak niggas. I don't. I look down on weak niggas who don't give a damn, who don't try, who do dumb shit. I look down on niggas like that. I don't respect that shit. <laughs> so niggas know not to even ask me for no shit like that. Like, <clears throat> I fuck with the hustlers. I like young niggas who actually trying to make some shit happen. <clears throat> the hard workers. That's who I fuck with, hard workers. If you ain't no hard worker, don't think you finna get no nice shit out of me. You know what I'm saying? I, I like hard workers. So, motherfucker be thinking I'm nicer than I, I really am. I ain't that nice. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't just no nigga out here just, hey man, let me just, nah. I know niggas like that, and there's some, there's some niggas like that who nice, who will give you some shit for no reason. I ain't that nigga though, bro. <clears throat> Let's be clear. <clears throat> I ain't never been that nigga. I don't respect niggas who don't work hard. So, I don't know what you want to say. I'm a mean nigga or whatever. I'm cool with whatever you call me. <laughs> I'm cool with whatever people call me, kid. I've been over giving the damn about what people think. <laughs> I ain't no hand out on my hand. I don't play that shit. Because, nigga, what the fuck am I working for for you? For you to sit at home and be a simp? With your, I don't give a damn if you married, nigga. I don't give a damn if you got a gal. If you ain't in this motherfucker putting in the work with me, man, I don't feel... I don't give a damn what you got going on, kid. <clears throat> it's called sacrifices. If we ain't on nothing else. If we got, I gotta be in this bitch. You gotta be in this bitch. You know what I'm saying? Straight like that. And I don't slow down for niggas either. I don't give a damn about what what's going on. They could be like, man, I'm slowing down because I want to chill a little. I ain't slowing down. <clears throat> That's one thing about me. I ain't slowing down, kid. I don't slow down for nobody. I don't give a damn who it is. I don't give a fuck what you got going on. You want to? You going through a love change and you just falling in love and don't want to work for a while? <laughs> you want to slow down and fall in love and do some shit? All right, God bless you, kid. But I ain't slowing down for nobody, kid. I'm going. That's one thing I ain't doing for not. This is why I be by myself, though. You see, I don't even want nobody to cl clutch on to me and be like, oh, bro, why you leave me? Like, nah, I just I, I just handle all my shit myself, man, if I got to do this shit. But we ain't stopping. We going. We seen what happened when niggas start slowing down for whatever the reason, whether it was love, whether it was whatever it was. We saw what happened to niggas who started slowing down, kid. So we ain't slowing down. We going to stay grinding. We going to keep working. We going to keep doing what we do. However we got to get it done, we're going to get it done. You know, we want you involved. If we can't, sorry, next one. We'll catch you on the next one. But we ain't slowing down and we ain't stopping, kid. That's one thing we ain't doing because we seen how that play out. That was called getting comfortable. Nah, we going. Because this is, at the end of the day, people be trying to tie all kind of other shit onto whatever. Like, man, this is work, bro. This is your job. You can't just, 
I take this shit serious like you take your job. And people don't respect it. You a rapper, you got money, you ain't gotta do this. Like, especially relationships. That's why I can't keep a bitch. Because they don't respect the music. They don't respect that, hey man, I gotta go to the studio and work on this album. You don't have to do that. You can. We can sit in there and watch this movie. You ain't gotta do that. I don't like your attitude. I don't like that you trying to stop me from reaching the goal I have in my mind. So we ain't gonna make it out for you trying to stop me from reaching my goals. That's why I'm not a relationship nigga like y'all. Because y'all let y'all gal talk y'all out of doing all kind of hustling. You can stop for a day. We can do this. No, I ain't. Why are you trying to stop me? When you go to your nine to five, do I ever say, hey, man, leave your job and stay home with me? Like, why would I even say that? You know what I'm saying? Like, I would never tell you to say, don't go to work or do this. All right. So... Why just because I'm a rapper, you want me to, and I control my life and I'm a boss, you want me to not go get this money or figure out what I need? Nah, that's why I can't fuck with you and that's why I'm by myself. And that's what it is, man. Fuck it. But you know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all ain't got a lot of shit that I got because y'all feel for that. And that's what I want to give y'all the hard truth, you know? Y'all feel for that with y'all women, y'all. Y'all was on the right path. Y'all had y'all hustle swinging wide, going hard. But you tender dick. And you had that pretty motherfucker. Y'all were kissing in the mouth. And um, y'all started cuddling too hard. And, you know, before you know it, she was making you stay home and lay up in it. But more than you was going out and getting to it. And now you way in, in the back somewhere. And that's what happened, kid. A lot of y'all niggas start kissing in the mouth, hugging too much, and selling and letting girls tell you, you know, stop you from chasing your dreams, man. If we gonna be together, we gonna work together. We gonna be a you gonna understand that, hey baby, you gotta go do what you got. He ain't got all this shit for nothing. The nigga figured it out somehow. Like you gonna have to respect my judgment. <laughs> oh, it ain't gonna work. <laughs> I don't give a fuck how you cry or feelings or whatever you gotta be. Hey man, when it come to me going, like I believe God got the best for me in the future. I believe God gonna always, you know what I'm saying? My, I ain't gonna never not be doing better than I'm doing now in my head. I'm covered in the blood of Jesus. God got me. Hey man, you coming or not, straight like that. I ain't gonna be mad if you don't come. But I know one thing. I'm going. You see what I'm saying? A lot of y'all get stuck in, man. I can't. This might be the one. If she, if, uh, if, uh, if I leave her, I might not ever find another. I never had that in my head. I always say the people for me coming with me, the ones who ain't, ain't. Straight like that. And we gonna see who next. But the day, the best days are always ahead of us. Not behind. I am covered in the blood of Jesus and love. I am God's son. This is how I move around in earth. I do not move with no thinking of anxiety of am I making a bad decision? What's No, let God lead me to where I need to be, man. And that changes. And it hurts sometimes. But at the end of the day, shit, we can't stop. We got to keep going. We can't stop for nobody. Straight like that. You know what I'm saying? That's why you better get God on your side so you can let him lead your ways and don't have to worry about it. You ain't y'all be doubling back, you know what I'm saying? Overthinking it, staying, letting people keep you stuck. Letting people keep you stuck. And that ain't what's up. I'm hella late to this lady. She probably done took out I'm up. I pay her extra I got to. I'm sorry. A lot of that is insecurity facts. A lot of y'all just don't really believe in yourselves or, or whatever, like whatever it may be. But listen, I ain't going out like I ain't never letting no. I ain't never even letting no. I don't even think about it twice. I'd be like, okay, all right, see you later, and I keep it going. You know what I'm saying? And it ain't never led me to the wrong place. I ain't never looked back like I fucked up. I never felt like I fucked up. Never felt like I fucked up. Let me tell y'all. Never have I regret regretted and felt like I left something behind that I didn't need to leave behind. 
Trust me. I'm telling you, man. And when you live like this, I don't have anxiety. I don't have no issues because I live with the faith. I know God got me. I ain't never seen it fail me. So I ain't going to never go against it. Why would I go against it if it ain't never failed me? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It ain't never failed me, kid. And that's what y'all, if you had that type of, if you move like this, you'll have a different mind frame. You know what I'm saying? You won't be trapped. <laughs> you won't be trapped, kid. You won't be trapped. And that's how I move around in life, bro. Whoever come with me coming, whoever ain't, they ain't. And that's what that is. Like, we ain't stopping, though. You know what I'm saying? I'm finally pulling up 20 minutes late. But, yeah, it's like that, though. It's like that. And it's scary because a motherfucker will get... I, I'll be in a whole nother world in another year. You don't even know. You know what I'm saying? I just let the... Yeah. But that's how I go, though. Real life, man. But I'm at the foot doctor. I hope I said something positive that sparked you to chase your dreams, live your best life, trust God, whatever it may be. Go to the gym. Anything. You know what I'm saying? Something... Hope you got something good if you down with the coat, man. You know what I'm saying? Because I get to live my dreams throughout y'all, throughout people following me, showing me love. I want to see it go back. I want to see more people do it. I want to see more people reach that shit, especially if you can say I help. That'd be, that's more than money right there, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, y'all have a blessed day. Turn up. Have a good one. Talk to y'all later.